That's the 26 measurement. 26 We went through a lot of these wheels, <laughs> cut off wheels for this. Four on each side, so there's or two on each side. So same over here, and then one right in the center. You gotta push the rubber out of the way to get to it, but there's like a little indent that tells you where it's at. That's a tough one to get to. That's it for pulling the screws. And then you just pull the window out, pull it from the top. Once you get it out, you lift it up. It comes right out. So we got this window as well. I don't know if this is first or second or whatever you're seeing here. Depends on how we edit. Uh, they've got a small uh, star bit in here. There's two of them on each side that we got to pull out to get these windows apart. After you pull the four screws, the bottom piece comes out where the screws were went into, and then you pull the frame apart, and the glass comes out. Pull the piece that the other screws were in. Put the frame back together. 
throw out the bottom screws because they're a bit rusty. And use the upper screws. I put these in loose so that the frame still is loose. Flexible. facing the inside of the bus out. This side has a lip on it and I don't want that catching water. Drop it into the frame. We put the screws in. Uh, what? Are, oh, scrapers in my pocket. I use the scraper here. To make sure that the rubber is pulled out of the way. So the metal goes all the way to the bottom of the frame. I use this piece that we, other piece of uh, the window frame that we pulled out. And I use it as a spacer to push this metal out. screws in. I've only got two of my bucket left. We'll have to get some more. 
they go just like this. Now the frame's all back together, just go ahead and put this in the window. darkens it up in here, huh? Those are going to be behind the pantry, so we decided that since we're redoing it, we'd go ahead and block them out. <laughs> 